Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Tales of Exilia 2. Uh, so, the next thing we have to do on our list of stuff is, uh, let's see, I think, square? Yeah. Take the train to Marksburg? I think there's actually another way to look at that. Yeah, like that. And, uh, that's what we'll be doing, but first, I wanted to go over the kitty dispatch thing. So, um, so I'd mentioned it in a comment, but the kitty dispatch thing... I did in the first time I recorded the last episode, but not the second time. So let's explore it now. For an important mission. Yeah. I'm, I'm not 100% quite sure how this works. Like, I, I've read all this text here, and I'm going to let you guys read it if you want. But... I don't really understand quite how, like, cats... Cats are able to grab things for us. Uh, so what we do is we... Tell it a location. We're going to say Triglyph, since I think that's the only place. Oh, I guess we can do Alice High Road. We'll tell it Triglyph for now. And then... We have some sort of travel item, but we're going to skip that for now. We don't have to do that. And then we dispatch Kitty. You find something good. Bye! And, uh, let's see. There was something... Call back Kitty. No, no. Uh, display bonus? Uh, okay. So, this... They have a thing where it kind of works with a real-time schedule thing. So I'm recording this on Saturday. Uh, normally I would have recorded this on Friday and then it come out on Saturday, but I'm a little bit behind right now. Uh, so it seems to work with a real-time thing. So today's Saturday, and apparently the return time is cut by 20%. If it was Sunday, three times more items. Uh, stuff like that. I don't know. It, it seems a little shallow to me, the whole idea, but it doesn't really matter that much, I guess. Anyway, but now and and the cat will end up coming back later with items, I believe, is how it works. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna finally get on that train to Marksburg because I've been really curious, you know, because she said this is how they get between Olympias and Risa Maxi now, and I'm kind of curious. Well, how does that work? That sounds really interesting to me. Let's go. Never let this animation play out all the way. What does he do? Just climb on the train and it goes, something like that. That's it. Oh, okay. If uh, if all if all the train stations are going to be different like this, I could enjoy this a bit more. I just don't like it when they keep repeating the same shape over and over. We can make a huge profit now if we take over Riza Maxia while we still can. I'm just kidding. I'm too old to get involved in something that crazy. <laughs> but if it ever happens, you shall see. So, we might find some clues about Julius and Marksburg and Helioburg. Guess there's only one way to find out. So we're supposed to find the person who's after Julius, that's great. I used to think Olympian technology was the most impressive of its kind in existence when they built the bridge like this between two nations in just a year. I, I feel like I should have taken a breath somewhere in that sentence. But looking at where the schism used to be makes me think. Wasn't the very barrier that covered the world itself made entirely of spirit arts? The spirits of power that vastly exceed those of humans. It's really quite impressive. Welcome to Marksburg, the town beyond the schism. Enjoy shopping here amongst the beautiful scenery. That's gotta be like an odd thing to add to your list of tourist attractions, right next to the schism to another world. So, this is a train timetable? I wanted to go to tri Triglyph, but I don't even know what I'm looking at. I just asked someone native to Olympias, but I don't know how I feel about that either. And this is how it feels going to an airport. You're just like, where am I going? Only usually it's also written in a language that you can understand. You mean they sell Rizamaxian cuisine here? Wow, this place is really living up to its reputation as a city on the border. The Rapig fritter sandwich they serve in town is supposed to be super delicious. Terrorism is always cool. Oh, and you. That Prime Minister Rowan sure has some nerve, siding with Olympias like that. His policies are just too extreme. You can bet that I'm siding with Gaius because he's way more prudent. Oh boy, our old friend Gaius. Everyone remember Gaius, right? Oh, we're going to make a quick save really quick. While we're doing this, I need to adjust my fan. Sorry, it's getting a little warm in here. Alright, much better. Sorry about that. So let's go explore Marksburg and see if maybe we can find anything cool. Oh, is that the bridge between the two nations? 
I'm just sorry. I'm just kind of looking at the bridge. Is there? Can we get a better view on it? Maybe. It looks like this used to be like a port town that maybe they converted to a giant bridge. So was the only thing separating them before just a like a? I mean, it was a schism, but was it just kind of like a wall or something? And now that it's gone, they just have free access between the two areas. That's interesting. Hey kids, have fun running around. There's a lot to explore out here and I'm going to try to explore as much as I can. A nice reporter lady gave me some candy. It was so yummy. Uh, kids, don't take candy from nice reporter ladies. She said she, it was from a place called Reezy Ma Measy or something. I've never heard of it. These kids are the best in this game. I wonder if that nice lady found that Julius or whoever she was looking for. Ooh, that's got to be fun. Let's look for that. These vegetables are so different from the ones on Rizamaxia. They're all dry and hard. You've got quite a smart little mouth there, kid. I'm giving you free samples here, so how about sparing me the lip, huh? Okay, I guess we can't go that way. You gonna talk to me? Nope, got nothing to say to me. Mr. Silent Man. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're supposed to find the crazy. Ah, yeah, that's where we're supposed to go. But do we want to go there quite yet? Found a kitty. By accident, I, d I didn't notice that it was a kitty until I was like, Hey, look, there's something wiggling on the ground. Alright, fine. Oh, look, you... Oh, I think we know who you are. Uh, do we want to proceed? Yeah, sure, why not? Got nothing better to do. Except talk to people. The monster in the alleyway. Dum bum bum. Meanwhile, Here, people kitty, are talking kitty. about fresh mutton. Here, kitty. Hi. Nothing to see here. Move along. <laughs> what? What the heck are you doing, Leia? Jude? Were you talking to that kitty? Oh Not gosh. Exactly. Oh gosh. It's another Flora. crazy Special cat lady. Assignment. She's turned into a crazy cat I lady. I mean, I knew she was weird. Reporter, Leia. What gives? But yeah. I told you it's a special assignment. Um well, cats sure love this guy here. I'm sure Ludger could get it. Hi, kitty. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Cat's mad. I bet she already tried that. Now I got you, Julius. Wait, what? Julius? Are you kidding me? Dang uh -huh. it, we followed this whole That's way for name. a cat. Are you kidding me? Julius Catstantine the third. Catstantine. Oh, man. Uh -huh. The, the cat one, jokes, apparently. they just keep coming. I've been asking all over about this cat. So, the person asking a lot of questions about Julius is Leia. Anyhow, thanks guys. This cat belongs to our biggest advertiser. Uh, where are my manners? This is Luger Kresnik. My name's Elle, and this here is Rolo. I'm Leia Rolando. It's a pleasure to meet all of you. So, Leia, are you a cat catcher? Huh? No way! I'm a newspaper reporter. Think of me as a truth catcher. It's an honorable job. A truth catcher? <laughs> and she's sitting here chasing Speaking cats. Of, sure. Have you heard anything about the train hijacking? That right there is the story of the decade. Last I heard, they put out a warrant for that spurious bigwig. Julius Kresnik, I think? Wait a minute. Julius Kresnik? Did you step into trouble again? <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, yes he did. But Luger is... I know, I know. He's a friend of yours. Come Always on. picking up friends, aren't you? Huh? Duval. I have an informant there. She's super duper in the know. So I'll introduce you guys. Oh, right, now we're getting somewhere. Maybe we'll find the right Julius this time? The choices you make during events and during skits, you can increase Luger's affinity with the other characters. You can only increase your affinity once per skit. Deepen your affinity with other characters. Sure. You can view the current state of his affinity. So on the status screen, Luger, and then 
Okay, I see. So that's basically how much of a bond you formed with the other characters. And we've already gotten one, if you remember, from that one fight. I'm pretty sure I put that in. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I, did. I, put, I put that in the video. So I guess the more we go up, the more affinity we get, and the more good stuff we get, kind of, sort of. Yeah. Where'd Mr. Kitty Cat go? Oh no! He got away! After all that work! Yep. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, sorry. There's one other thing. I was told at some point, I can't remember when. Let's see, one of my equipment. That apparently that one hat that we got is actually, yeah, can actually be worn. Oh, gosh. Hold on. Makes you look like a painter. Let's let's see how Jude, Jude looks with L's cap. Oh, gosh, Jude, no. Jude. Jude. <laughs> no. Why not just wear a mini jute on your shoulder too? Yeah, let's just let's just make it everything. Yeah, I can give you, I can give you hat style hair. Oh yeah, look, it looks great. How about how about not? All right, so so now you see how the hat looks. Um, not a huge fan of it, I gotta say. I mean, she looks okay with it, but not everyone else. The guy with what black glasses? We talking about someone we passed or something? Uh, so we've got to get back to Duval Station, but there's still a load of people I want to talk to here. Looking for fun in Marksford? Give the speed quest a shot. It's what we're famous for. You should try it at least once if you've never done it before. It's a blast and a half. Would you mind giving me information on where this speed thing is? Can I go across the bridge? I, I bet they're going to stop me. Oh wait, I can? Oh, we're still in Marksburg, so I guess... Wow. They turned this bridge into, like, a market? That's kind of neat. I don't really need anything. In fact, honestly, I should sell some of these just so I can pick up more. We could sell... Oh, we could sell those, yeah. Kitty Chris? Mmm, yum, my favorite. Don't think we need anything else. I just wanted some more room to pick up more stuff. I heard that the Olympians are making counterfeit goods and selling them on the market. I wonder if the ones here are the real deal. Uh-oh, counterfeits not always fun. That limited edition b b bunnykins that's all the rage lately selling like hotcakes. You can't get one anywhere. Bunnykins? What's a bunnykin? I don't even know what a bunnykin is. Oh, my kitty is returned. Okay, so let's go back to kitty dispatch. Aww, too bad. Yeah, so all he got was a carrot. It looks like it just kind of gathers materials. So... I guess that's kind of cool. We'll use the kitty Chris this time, I guess. Good Dispatch luck. kitty! <laughs> yeah, I'm not really sure what's up with that, if that's so great. Ooh, it's a nice little background. Yeah, this new era or whatever sure sounds great and all. But doesn't part of the peace treaty state that we need to start paying tariffs from now on? I'm totally against this. We just finally established a marketplace where we can use our resources re resources to make cheap goods and sell them by the boatload. Is that where Olympians' true na national interests lie in controlling Riza Maxia? Well, some people sure seem to be like that. First a ceasefire agreement, now a peace treaty signing is soon to follow right here in Marksburg. A new era is officially beginning for Riza Maxia and Olympias. I don't know, I think it's kind of exciting. I see. So the mana that is being used by the schism is now supporting Olympias. That explains why we've been able to use Spyrex without the expense of the spirit's lives. Of course, once all that mana is used up, the world is surely doomed. This could be the beginning of the end. <laughs> and no one's wanting to do anything about it except Jude, who doesn't seem to have enough money for it. Reza Max and Olympias are both starting to establish a consular jurisdiction. What this means is that the appropriate country will not have jurisdiction over matters involving foreigners in their country. Given the current political climate and sentiment among the citizens, there's really no other choice, but hopefully one day we'll be able to restore these rights. Okay, there's a lot of people in here to talk to. I'm just going to start skipping them. So, Riza, Riza, Riza Harper? Are we now in Riza Maxia? Cool. So... 
And I guess, you know, because these are both border towns, it's kind of like, oh, that's an inn. That's not where I really wanted to go. It's kind of like a, like a border town in real life, where it's kind of like a blending of cultures. That's kind of neat. How do we get out of here? Just out of curiosity. What is that? Oh, it's a harbor. They probably won't let me go, right? Oh, they're all booked. Of course, who would have guessed? Well, admittedly they didn't change it a lot, but I'm glad they at least changed the harbors a little bit to look more interesting. Uh, anyway, so we still need to get to Duval. That's kind of our goal right now. So, I'm gonna try to quickly move through here. I'm not gonna talk to anybody else just because it does take a while to talk to all these people. Though if I can find that one game the guy was talking about, that actually did sound kind of cool. What about you? What are you? Well, customer, we're actually still getting set up at our end. We open for business in a little while, though, so be sure to come back. That might be that game that the guy was talking about. All right, all right. So, oh no! So you got sick of being a pampered pet and decided to explore the great outdoors. Sure, sure. I feel you, kitty. Take it from me, though. This world is nothing but one big litter box. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ivor? Oh gosh, Ivor's talking to the cats it? too. Quick! Grab that cat for me. Huh? <laughs> and there it goes. I thought we were supposed to go to Duval, not chase a cat. See that? Even the deadliest creatures run in fear of my mighty weapon. Don't be afraid, <laughs> cat. <laughs> oh no, the cat jokes are back. Thanks. <laughs> I bet you don't even know which end is up on that thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just throws off his glasses like a boss. Sure. All right, take up your sledgehammer. Oh, oh, okay. So we can swap between having dual blades, and now we can use sledgehammer. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! Holy crap, this is amazing. Swap back to dual blades. Okay. Sledgehammers have an incredibly long reach and are highly effective when surrounded. They can also break an enemy's guard or iron stands. You better nail this because it's hammering time. Huh? Oh dang it! Okay, so this is kind of cool because I remember in the opening, I got to see. Oh sweet! Just like in uh, Vesperia, some of the arts change depending on which type of weapon you have equipped. Too close. Ah, oh, that's cool. I, I'm really enjoying this right now, I gotta say. Sorry, I'm trying to talk. Um, Because in the opening you saw him, I think at one point you see him using a hammer, and at one point you see him using a gun, and then you see him using his dual blades a lot, of course. Ooh, healing move, I like this. It definitely slows him down, but it's a neat thing, I suppose. So what's that mean about his head? Does that mean his guard's broken or something? Oops. It's a neat thing, I don't know, and then I can... And then I can swap back and go back to a quick fighting stance. Yeah, and it said it was good for when we're surrounded, so that's kind of neat. Oops. I'm trying to heal. Oh, it even works when I'm down. That's kind of neat. Okay. Well, that's a neat thing. I like it. And he's randomly gave us... <laughs> randomly... Uh, and he gave us a loo stick. Oh, he's so nice. That's cool, though. That's cool. I, I, like, I like that they're expanding his range of weaponry. So, you do know which end is which, <laughs> but I'm warning you, don't go swinging that thing around town. Some people have no consideration, I swear. So wow. Working here so, do you need to give us a hammer then? What are you going to do about the cat? Oh, come on. We have more important things to worry about, don't we? Now, off to Duval. <laughs> there he goes off in the distance. All right, so... Ah, sweet, we got Leia. What does she know? Hold on, uh, let's check her arts really quick, just out of curiosity. She's still got her first aid. 
Okay, cool. And how does the weapons work? Okay, so he's got two... We've got two sets of weapons now. We've got the Spirius Blades and the Spirius Sledge. I thought I had an accessory on. Did I... Did I forget to... Okay. Whatever, it's fine. I can't believe it, Leia. You lost all of your equipment we had for you last time. You had some nice equipment. Do we need to go follow that cat? I don't want to follow that cat. We're going back to Deval. I heard back from my right. Ooh, You did? She said she's waiting at Duval Station. Well then let's go there. Ooh, Leia the reporter. Sure, why not? We'll listen to it. Exclusive expose. The terrible untold truth behind terrorist train tragedy. Investigative journalist Leia Rolando unravels the shocking mystery. Leia, what are you writing? Just jotting down some notes for an article. An article? You're like a reporter. Didn't we hey, say that already? Like about it. But those aren't articles. They're just dramatic headlines. You can't write a story to match a predetermined conclusion. Hey, professional journalists don't you accept if unsolicited you advice for, from amateurs, Mister. If you work for so like as the a professional, are you hitting your creepy deadlines? magazines? You can't just copy off my homework the morning before class like you used to. Zip it, Jude. Why do you hate the free press so much? What does any of this have to do with the free press? I'm talking about professional responsibility here. What's with Jude and Leia? They're like... BFFs. BFFs forever. They're like a married couple. Married? <laughs> Whatever could you be talking about? Seriously now, do we really look like that? <laughs> and that's what you get, Luger. Wow. Don't say mean things like that. You get hit in the face. Oh, sorry. It wasn't on purpose. In Leia's case, the staff is mightier than the pen. Ah, good. Good old Leia. Good old Leia still back, ready to hit anybody for embarrassing her. Alright, so where's your friend here? It's probably gonna, like, pop up in, like, three seconds. Yep, there she is. You have a star overhead. That means you're important. I figured you were a no-show. Sorry I'm late. So, uh, this is your informant? Yep, Jude, meet Jolene. Call me Hi, Jolene. You want, cutie. <laughs> anyway, you oh man, that look, the that look between them, right? that was so Maybe good. Maybe I know something. Maybe I don't. I'm guessing it depends on whether we have money or info to trade, right? Hey. What? What? I gotta pay her? Oh so that's the real story. Oh, okay. Never mind. I We're good. Good stuff. I got... Guess it's my turn to share. Word on the street is Brot's been funneling a certain something something to Exodus. Brot? Something something? That's the name of the government around these parts, right, Jolene? Supposedly. Meaning? No dice. I like living. What are they sending? Weapons? Nope. Guess again. Spirit fossils and boosters. Say what now? That's right, kids. The next-gen stuff that's supposed to replace current Spyrex technology. Whoa, stop the press. This guy looks familiar. <laughs> I suppose he does. This is Jude Mathis, the Spyrite researcher. Mom always wanted me to meet a doctor. You make me feel all chatty. <laughs> oh, Jude, you're like a celebrity. He is pretty much Rumor a celebrity. Helped save the world now. the alleyways of Duval. He looks just like a regular guy on the outside. But I hear he's hiding some monstrous power. He uses it to stalk his prey. <laughs> My glasses guy. Word is, even some of Grot's heavies have fallen victim. I just wrote it off as an urban legend, but maybe it's connected to the train hijacking after all. So what, are we gonna, like, try to... Yeah, we're gonna head back to the back alley? Okay, sure. That's what I guess we'll do. Hopefully it'll just happen to be there. Are you having trouble dealing with the train incident? That certainly was scary. No, it's not that. I can't forget those pictures on Luger's wall. They were so horrible. Oh, the wanted posters? I imagine Ivor stuck them up after he snuck in. Yeah. Wanted posters? Were those supposed to be some twisted version of Luger and Glasses Guy? I'm not sure if that They're was not the really intention. that great of drawings, Did you admittedly. See them, Luger? Yeah, yeah, no, we we saw them all right. They were definitely up there. Yeah, that's the one. Get that out of here! I'm trying to forget. 
Odd that they're in the Rolo, same whose side are you on? Wanted posters in Riza Maxia. Why don't they just use photos? Luger, take a picture of yourself and bring it to the police. Maybe they'll replace it if you ask. What? Illustrations are supposed <laughs> to be better at conveying the true essence of the subject. Or so I've heard. So that's the true essence of Luger and Glasses Guy? A really that's poorly drawn photo? Than their creepy spear I know, right? <laughs> They're so bad. Really? Maybe when criminals are confronted with these wanted posters, a lot of them crack and turn themselves in. Because they look so bad, they just don't want people looking at them anymore? Oh gosh, please, it's hideous. Please, so just take it down, I'll turn myself in. Well, you know what they say. Swim with sharks, wake up with fleas. Um, Is that no, that's goes? not how it goes. That's not how it goes the at all. of the alleyways. Stalking brat members. Uh, I'm not scared. Hmm. Should we talk to random people, or should we just sort of walk around? It is pretty spooky in that tunnel right there. It's all flickery. So is yeah, the like demon that. Stomping grounds? I really hope it's not. What? Are you scared? No way! I ain't a pretty cat. Stop Besides, with the cat jokes, kids. What's wrong? It's like but it's not the only thing I'm curious Someone about. with this like huge what cat joke issue just have for started making this game. To make spy rights. What's that, Chief? Did someone say spy rights? If you find folks have got the gall to spend, then I've got the goods. You mean to say you're peddling spirit fossils? You bet. Only lesser spirit class ones, though. Speaking of that, have you heard anything about people gathering spirit fossils recently? Uh-oh. Don't beat around the bush. Uh-oh. You mean Exodus, right? Turn around, Jude! Don't yeah. move, Dr. Mathis. We're taking you into custody unless you try something foolish. In broad daylight? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Uh-oh. These men. We should have honestly been more prepared for something like this to happen. Save June! Quick, throw the hammer at him. They won't expect it. Thanks, Rolo. Saving the day after all. <laughs> uh oh, oh no, oh no, what's happening? Everything went all weird colored again, I think. Yep, everything went all sepia toned again. Huh? What just happened? Wait a minute. Wait just a gosh darn second. Oh no, you're not going to let us out, are you? You can't pass through here. There have been reports that the gray-haired demon is incited in the area. I'll catch him next time by thunder. So do you think maybe we have like this odd power to control time or something? I don't know, just an idea. Hey, what's the matter, buddy? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Thanks, dude. Thanks for finally doing something. Should have really I expected that to happen. Exodus hate me so much, but if you can't trust us, then at least trust in the spy rights. That's all I ask of you. We're so close to making them work. Well, at the very least, we're not idiots. Now we can actually <laughs> fight. Curse that Jolene. She must have ratted us out. <laughs> Show no mercy. They're probably all Rizamaxians. Those dirty Rizamaxians. <laughs> no, Rolo, get out of here. You'll get shot. Are we going to fight now? I feel like we could take these guys on real easy. Just because they have guns no mercy, doesn't mean we couldn't very well. take them on. Oh, I think I... Oh, is this who I think it is? I think it is. Oh man! I can't move. Our good Spirit. old friend is back. Maybe. This. Yes. Oh! It's Rowan. It's Rowan. You haven't changed the day. An old friend and traveling buddy. Rowan's super smart. He knows everything. So you haven't gotten a day older. 
The land of Canaan, you say? That's right, old timer. It's a magical place that grants people wishes. Do tell. <laughs> well, I got a wish for that Canaan place to grant. Death to all Riza Maxia scum. Every last one of them. Anybody who looks at you art-wielding monsters and thinks you're people like us is crazy. Quite right. Ah! Oh my gosh! You're Don't burning them alive! <laughs> Rowan, wow. What did you just do? That was kind of brutal. Need you ask? Elise, Gaius, Lady Drusel. I must avenge their deaths. I must atone for dispelling the schism. Wow, that was kind of brutal. No, not like this. <sighs> Those two must perish as well. This man isn't Rowan. Truly, every last Olympian must be sent to their doom. Wow. Uh, oh, okay, hmm. This weird thing, this time thing, doesn't quite make sense. But, you know, maybe it'll make sense later. Maybe we'll learn what it means. Anyway, it looks like he's weak to hammers, which is good. He's not the Rowan we know. Luger doesn't even know Rowan. Luckily, he's a magician. Or, uh, not a magician, but a magic user. So it should make it a little bit easier for us to fight him. Nope. Oh man, I love how he twirls that hammer. Doesn't it look so cool? Okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Oh, I didn't tell him to do it twice. It's a lot slower battle style, but I... It, st it still is like the speed that, uh... That this new Tails battle system has. But, like, it's slowed down a bit just using a hammer. I don't know, I kinda, I like it a lot. I think it's neat. Oh man. It can't be. That can't be Rowan. Yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe the brother isn't actually bad, and maybe there's just some weird time thing going on, like with Rowan here, because I feel like Rowan wouldn't be bad either. He's like the epitome of not bad. Oh, there's that Lance of Kresnik thing again. Seems very suspicious, all things considering. Ludger Kresnik, Lance of Kresnik, Lance, yeah, anyone else? No? Okay. People don't just vanish into thin air. Well, they must be hiding around here somewhere, so find them. What? What did you monsters do? Oh, okay, I see. that spirit our trickery. You really are monsters, aren't you? Honestly, I don't know what's going on either. It's okay. Do we get to fight these guys now? That's enough. Nope, okay. Big guy come to save the day. Oh, <gasps> hi there! Oh my gosh! Hi! Who the hell you guys you? look great! You're going to tell me something. Why is Exodus so intent on gathering spyrite materials? Imagine if they unleashed an out of control spyrite on the world. Everyone would see the danger in it, public support would vanish in a flash. Indeed they would. The plan is a cunning one. Hold on a sec. You're... you're not gonna kill us? We are not the monsters you think we are. <laughs> Run away! Nothing changes overnight. It would appear that hatred of Riza Maxia runs deep within the veins of this city. Maybe you could go to the land of Canaan and wish the hate away. 
Beg pardon? The land of Canaan is a magical place that grants wishes for people. <laughs> Quite the locale, that. Alas, the power to alter men's hearts in the blink of an eye would be frightening indeed. We could easily wish away that which makes us human. True it's okay. that, true that. These two are the real deal. Rowan, Gaius, thank you. Erston. Huh? At the moment, I'm just a man about town, much like any other. Please, call me Erston. You're calling yourself Erston? His Highness is traveling incognito to get a sense of oh, I see. Appeal okay. in Olympias. Can you really do that? I mean, you are the king of Rizamaxia. King? I've never gotten to see a real king before. It's okay, he's not that great, honestly. Uh... Uh, we could either go Erstin or Your Highness. I think he wants to go with Erstin right now, though. Yeah. Can you read my, my silent mind powers? Yes, you can. Good, you're one of the chosen. He can be stubborn as a child, this one. What was that, Rowan? Nothing. Hey, I just thought of something. Great. Do you think that demon of the alleyways was gut? I mean, Erstin here? I mean, it could have been. But the scary Rowan looked like the glasses guy, too. The scary me? Well, you see... It's kind of hard to explain. See, you went evil and tried to kill us, and you had, like, weird black skin and creepy eyes and everything. I mean, it was, it was very odd. It would seem you've gotten yourselves wrapped up in some sort of paranormal phenomena. <laughs> Your thoughts, Rowan? Something's afoot. Afoot's Based afoot? On? A hunch. Good enough for me. Now get to the bottom of it. As you wish. What is he like his personal servant guy now Would or something? You be so kind as to allow me to accompany you henceforth. Party members. Certainly, I love party members. I'm Rowan Ilbert. A pleasure to make your acquaintances. Jude. I know. I can't let Exodus get me down. I'll perfect the spy right tech and prove them wrong. <laughs> I feel like we haven't really gotten anywhere helpful Baylin today. Yeah. We conducted spy right research together back in Helioborg. I feel like that would be a much better lead for us right now. Because I feel like we're getting really nowhere this way. Okay, cool. Another chapter end. We got a party member, I think, now. One, two, yep. three, go. Rock, beat, scissors, I win again. That's six times in a row. You're unbeatable at this. You've certainly matured into quite a dependable man over the last year. I don't know Just about that. Just wait till they're done talking. Thanks. Coming from you, that's a great compliment. Okay, oh, we got a lot of things that we need to listen to and talk to before we leave, I think. So, you're friends with His Highness? Indeed I am. I serve at King Gaius' side as his Prime Minister. What's that? He's sort of like the King's Regent. That makes him ah, the number gotcha. two guy in okay. all of Riza Maxia. The King's Regent? But in fairy tales, the Regent's always the villain. Hey, you're right. They're always secretly trying to steal the kingdom or mess with the king. That's true. How could a mere child, see through my ambitions. Oh no, he's evil after it's all. true. As you've suspected, I derive great pleasure from toppling kings. I remove their pawns one <laughs> by one as my loyal knights advance from the sides to flank them. We have to warn his highness. Of course, I'm talking about chess. What? Your regents really are mean. Rowan is pretty much always like this. I'm glad to see he's still got a sense of humor. That's always good. Alright, what about you? We're the ones who made it possible for the schism to be dispelled. And I can tell that Jude in particular feels responsible for so much of what happened. Kinda makes me hope that the land of Canaan, a, a place that grants wishes, really does exist, you know? Alright, so we have... Okay, so we have four party members. I was wanting to see what, um... 
what the affinities were looking like. I see, so once the bar fills, you get a heart. I feel like I'm playing Harvest Moon now, gosh. I get Leia up to five hearts, and she's gonna be like, you can visit me at my house at any time. And then after that, she's gonna be like, you can marry me. I wonder if there's anything in here. Just out of curiosity. Anything important, anyway. Now, but we can save in here. So, uh, we're gonna stop here for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. And next time, I guess... We're going to Helioburg, which means we need to make more money. Ah, uh, great. That's fine, though. We can do that. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!